We talked about how personal growth precedes um, business growth. Mm -hmm. How did that play out for you? What uh, you know? What did you have to learn, or how did you have to grow mm. uh, to create that success in your business? And I, I hate to um, keep beating the drum because I, you know I, I say this a lot, and people still don't believe me. But I would was always looking for that perfect thing, mm. the the the, um, the magic pill that was going to uh, you know take our business from you know, this extraordinary, you know, leap. And it, I was, was looking for the right plan, the, like the right marketing, the right brand, what, what I needed. Uh, when I first started, actually, before you and I worked together, I changed my name about 40 times. I'm sure everyone can relate to that if you're a coach. I'm a mindset coach. I'm a this coach. I'm a that coach. <laughs> I tried everything. And I kept thinking if I just had the right brand and it had the right things on my website and the right messaging that that person, then I'll get the right people. But you can't have the brand or the messaging if you don't know who you are and you don't know that you get to create what you want. And, um, and I've seen a lot of people try to go out there and copy what other people are doing, thinking, oh, that's working. I see that out there. And I'm going to copy that because it look, they're, they're, they're getting a lot of likes. And I ended up doing that for a while. In the beginning, I kept thinking, well, I need to be more fun and, the and all bright, these things. bright, shiny objects. Yeah, and so the personal growth part of it is understanding who I am mm. and what I wanted. And part of I put in my shadow is my depth and my spiritual knowledge and um, my wisdom about psychology. And I felt like people didn't want to know that. They wanted to know when I could get my next date. And so at first, I, I really was trying to become someone that I thought people would like versus actually own who I am. And I think that's personal growth. And so when you think about strategy, I, I had the perfect strategy. I knew marketing. I, I knew understanding advertising. But if I didn't know who I was, it wasn't going to work because it doesn't come from the real me. And so I think people need to understand who they are on a deep level. Mm -hmm. They need to do their shadow work. I say this again, uh, beating the drum of shadow work. And just a, a really quick what shadow work is, it's a Jungian term. And it really is that in the beginning of life, we're conditioned to create a persona that is pleasing and adaptable to everyone around us. And so if you think about a business, that's what we tend to do. We want to build our business persona, especially if you're a solopreneur. You, you are the business. You are the right. face of the business. So you're the brand. You have to put this persona out there. And it's not authentic. It's it's really what we believe other people will like. And it's very externalized. It's very looking at what the trends are, looking at what's going to mm. attract the right people. And what Jung uh, talked about is that when you have that persona, there's a shadow that is uh, on uh, underneath it. And what I see is that people build up this persona, and then they even identify themselves as if I'm successful, I'm a seven-figure coach or I have an eight-figure business, that's my persona, I'm successful. Well, guess what? If you haven't done the work, what goes in your shadow mm. is the failure, is the person who doesn't have the uh, authority to do what they do. And it kind of sits there and, and it can uh, lead to that dark night of the soul where you have to come to terms with those things because you're so externally focused. And so I see that personal growth is not just about um, feeling good and confident about yourself. Or thinking or positive. Thinking positive, <clears throat> doing your mindset work, uh, you know, healing your childhood. Uh, it really is about individuation, understanding who mm. you are and, not, and, and, and internally focused that you are the power. And then the external is just reflective of that. And I think it's making that pivot versus... I need to build up this ego and, and it needs to look a certain way and needs to sound a certain way for me to be successful. And uh, and so that's why I all this is why I say the marketing comes second. The marketing and the branding and all those things will come out of your authentic expression. Mm. So you do need those things. You need but those things. They're tools, but they're not they aren't the mm. they're the they're the ex effect of a centered person versus the cause of the business being successful. You are the cause of the be business being right, successful. Right. And if you're the cause of being successful, 
the effect will show up in having the right team, having a great marketing plan, having um, the right message, because it'll co- it's coming from inside of you. You're not looking to, how can I impress others, and how do I make it in this crazy world, and I'm just this like little <laughs> insignificant ego, and the, you know trying to make it, you're the force. You, and I think for women, we do have such creative power, and we need to own that, and that's really yeah. what I see. For me, has made a profound difference in how we create.